You deserved what you got. You were hurting Mr. Bryant's animals and you deserved it. We've got ways of taking care of snitches. We don't like finks. for these releases. And don't forget today at 4 o'clock we have that uh, Walters interview. Hey, Billy, that's some shiner. I can uh, take Billy for the rest of the afternoon if you're going to be too busy. Thanks, but Paul can take the interview. So, Billy, are you sure you're all right? Yeah. Do you want to tell me what happened this time? It was nothing. It had to be something. It was no big deal. It is to me. Billy? Why don't you go out and have Lois put some ice on that eye? Maybe I can get some straight answers from Mr. Bryant. Calls, Lois. Yes, Mrs. Stewart. I guess it's not very easy bringing up a, a boy all by yourself. Well, this is a demanding job, but it will pay Billy's way through college if he can get his grades up. Well, oh, I don't know. His schoolwork seems to be going downhill lately. Well, not my class. It's the brightest kid I've got. That's because of the animals. He seems to relate better to animals than he does to people. Well, he'll grow out of that. I just can't seem to get through to him lately. You know, I, I plan special things and they just don't work out. The school counselor suggested a semester at boarding school. I know of a place out west, um, throw a ranch type, horses riding. No. Billy has never adjusted to his father's death. I mean, if I sent him away to be with strangers, it would break his heart. What about relatives, grandparents? My parents are dead. So are Rogers. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, Laura, I hope I'm not interfering. But I think what Billy really needs right now is a strong male image, a firm hand. Well, there is someone. My great uncle, Abe Zook. He lives on a farm somewhere in Pennsylvania. It grows herbs. He sends us some every now and again. Well, I think Billy would be in his element on a farm. I don't know. Uncle Zook knows animals, but I'm not so sure he knows kids. But apparently, neither do I. Maybe it's worth a try. Look, hex signs. That's a local superstition. In Pennsylvania Dutch country, farmers paint hex signs on their barns to ward off bad luck. Look at that. Maybe your uncle will teach you to drive a buggy like that. You kids know where Abe Zook lives? You look for the Brocker? Is that what you call a farmer around here? A Brocker is something else again. No one is going there. Why not? What's wrong? It makes half a mile of the stump of the big oak. 
there, the lane to his place goes off. Thank you. Better it is that you come away before it makes dark. Oh, I remember once when I was a little girl, I was real sick. And Uncle Zook came and, and fed me herb teas and told me long stories. And I remember looking up at him and thinking he was the tallest man in the whole world. So, this is the young man who is not liking the school books. Wants to be with animals instead. Is it all right if I pet him? Uh, well, let Vasa decide when it is all right. Uh, you will be staying to supper? Another time, Mr. Zook. I don't want to get lost here at night. The roads aren't too good or well marked. Which is how we are liking it. Come over here, Wasser. This is so hard, Uncle Zook. I'm going to miss him so much. Oh. Well, you grew up, yeah. as I thought you would. Oh, yeah, nice dog. So I think will he. Yes, sir, good boy. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Well, I can see you're going to be good buddies. I guess you won't mind the company either. Must be kind of lonely living out here all by yourself. Well, for a long time, I was living with John Stoltzfus, the great hex doctor who was uh, my teacher, until the police took him away. Why'd they do that? Well, they are saying it was against the law to be using the potions he knew. Stoltzfus, you see, uh, knew black magic, well, like all hex doctors. Sometimes he used it. Are you a hex doctor, too? No, I am a Browker boy. One who was healing with herbs. And uh, sometimes laying on hands. See, I practice only white magic, although Stoltzfus taught me the black arts as well. He even had the gift of talking to animals. Can you talk to animals, too? Some. A raven. His name was Grip. Come here, Grip. <laughs> Why'd he do that? To see you jump, he likes to tease. If he makes the door again, grab him by the beak. Gotcha. Now he doesn't like me. Liking takes time, Willem. Laura, he really is in his element here, you know. Come on. I think we should get out of here before it gets to be too tough for both of you. First, you must learn he cannot bully you. Then he respects you. Really? I'm going now, Mom? Yeah. Now, listen, uh, don't worry about your pets, because I wrote down what to feed them and how much. And I'll, and I'll write you a lot. And also, I put a, a pad and envelopes in your suitcase. So if you want anything, just write. I love you so much. Making your goodbyes quick now, boy. Makes dark soon. There's still the milking we must do. Bye, Mom. So long, Mr. Bryant. I never milked a cow before. Well, now's a good time to be learning about milking cows. Wasser sure a funny name for a dog. What's it mean? Water. 
Witches are not liking water. Oh, they do not bother him. <laughs> Witches? They're only in fairy tales. Say so? I will finish. Mm. Ah, you were some handy the first time at milking. Is it okay if I look around outside? Yeah, but do not in the woods be going yet. dies if he is not having this plant they call wolfsbane. He becomes a werewolf and walks by night. Ah, such a one. It's Nelson Ryemeyer. I hear his wolf calls at night. I know he is coming to take me with him. But always I have the wolfsbane. <laughs> He's got to be kidding, right, Wasser? Ah, fresh from the spring. Never are you tasting such water in this city. Oh, that's for sure. A great horned owl. Well, what are you going to do with it? Ah. Keeping him. Or selling to hunters. What for? Crow decoy, they chain him to a pole so, uh, then when the crows come down to drive him off, hunters shoot the crow. That's a terrible thing to do to him. Oh, by me, it makes great trouble. Stealing chickens. I'm getting from them ten dollars, which is paying me some back. It isn't fair to cage him up when he didn't know he was doing anything wrong. Uh, Look, I'll give you the ten dollars for him. I don't have it right now, but I can write and ask my mom. Uh, what would you be doing with a great horned owl? Well, he should be free. Oh, boy, it is better so. You must try to understand I cannot let him go, or he will be killing more chickens. there were laws against killing animals for their skins. Uh, some. I'm a wild crafter, Willem, who is living off the land. Animals and plants were put in this earth for men to be using. Well, if people keep on destroying them, there won't be any left. Yeah, well, I'm only using just what is needed for filling the stomach. Here. Eat yourself full. <sighs> now I'm not hungry. Boy, I would hope that we could be friends. But to let the owl go is not reasonable. See, you are from the city. You do not understand such things yet. Yeah, well, I'll never understand them. <sighs> we wash where the water is running out of the spring house.
okay, you're free. Now come on, fly. Would you be quiet? Do you want him to hear you? Now clear out, will ya? Can't you understand I'm trying to help you? Now shoo. Boy, you're stupid. Go on. Go on. No. You didn't hurt him, did you? After what he is doing to you, why would you care? He was just scared. He was just trying to defend himself. Mr. Bryant, he's my teacher at school. He calls it fear biting. Uh, the owl makes well. I am spited at you, boy. Telling your mother you'll be safe with me, I am. Such a scare you gave me, I'm wonderfully spited. Fresh from the spring. Never are you tasting such water in this city. above the pain if you really try. Well, I'm trying, Dad. I really am trying to rise above it. It 
such again you uh, you were breathing in a very strange way be closing your eyes now and thinking of the pain going out for the body may it please God to help us make this child as he was before the hurt I feel better. Have I not told you? I am a broker. Now, you are full much tired, boy. An easy day it has not been for you. Uh, so I am thinking maybe you've earned the out. You mean he's really mine? Yeah, but not for setting free. Everything on the farm must be earning its own keep. So he must be trained to hunt for us and for himself. Oh, it's a deal. I am old. I know more about dogs and birds than boys, but uh, maybe we'll learn together. Hmm? Make fast with the barking. I cured it is only. And the Auslander. My great nephew Willem now is living with me. Huh. Oh, well, it makes trouble with you, Yoder. Three more sheep killed last night. By the wolf and the dog, I'm thinking. Three weeks I'm waiting with the gun for them, but never they are coming then. Uh, they are smart, those werewolfen. We run them down with the dogs. You bring Vasa? Yeah, he knows their scent. Maybe the other dogs will not be sure and will go after the deer and the fox, but not Vasa. Yeah, he's the best. Better even than my old blue. I'll be leaving the dead sheep alone. Then tonight, when they come back to feed, the trail will be fresh. Yeah. Isaac! Yeah? Did the squealer find a trail there? Uh, not yet. But he will. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim. Jim Stolzfus. Are you related to John Stoltzfus, the hex doctor? He was my uncle. And uh, none of that rubbed off. I was born around here, but uh, I've been away so long, they consider me an Auslander, too. They don't much like game wardens poking around. It interferes with their poaching out of season. Yeah. This track's longer than a dog's. The mark on the outside's bigger, too. It's a wolf, all right. Looks like a big one. Well, the one I saw yesterday was silver. But how could a wolf get way up here in Pennsylvania? Uh, two or three times before such an animal has come. But only when an evil broker dies. No. It's probably just some soldier at the army base brought him in as a pet. Isaac! Marsha has the scent! To Swamma Mike's woods they are going! We will go around to five points!
to confuse them. Yeah, they're heading for the woods, maybe. I'll take Spot down and put him on the trail again. Stop dreaming, boy. It makes the rain soon wash up the trail away. Yeah, I just saved him from getting killed. I had to. I know just how Wolf feels with all those dogs running after him. I know just how he feels. Tomorrow I will be getting more wolf spain. That animal has put a hex on you. I wasn't paying any attention. Uh, did you say something? Gruda Balsam, this is. Although children are calling it mosquito plant. Well, the same it is with Wilhelm and Billy. So all things are really two. Say not? I, I don't get it. Well, you are two people. Uh, one other people see, the others inside them. Mostly they stay together like two sides of a coin, but sometimes they separate. Sometimes. There's a power John Stolzfus had also. But there is a peril in it. I don't feel the pain. Well, in this room where it is safe, it's not so bad. But in the woods, it's a different matter. When the senses have flown, there is nothing to warn the body of danger. I never thought of that. Be thinking of it. Spike it. 
Uh, poachers are stealing from my traps. Swamenbergs, I'm thinking. So, so one day soon you will be rigging traps to catch them? <laughs> <laughs> Come in, have a sit. Inside is my granddaughter, Robin. By her in the city, great trouble comes. They're calling it rheumatic fever. It makes weak the heart. I am thinking that you can be of great help to her. But she has heard tales in the city that makes her fear Braucus. There's no need to be scared. My hand was clawed up something awful, and Uncle Zook put his hands on it. it felt kind of funny, all warm and tingly. And the pain just went away. It's almost well now. That Wilhelm cured the fear. That's cold cider in the spring house. That's full friendly of you. Now, I will be giving you a jar of tea, which she should be taking each night and telling herself she is feeling better. And soon she will be back in school and running and playing games. <laughs> Go ahead, pick all you want. I got boots on now. Is he saving for a rainy day? <laughs> I guess so. A grip, if you're not gonna eat it, I'm not gonna share it with you anymore. <laughs> Only an Auslander from the city would be talking to dumb animals. He's not dumb. And I'm not an Auslander. I was born here same as you before I moved away, Mark Swamenberg. And Uncle Zook talks to Grip, and he's a Brauker. Yeah, well, my father's the smartest farmer in Pennsylvania. And he says, to talk to a bird takes the brain of a bird. You better not be saying that to Uncle Zook. He's gonna get hexed. Hey, hey, what is this? If you don't want him hurt, get him away. I mean it. Well, you're lucky. But if you're staying here until you're better, we'll settle this. You tell your uncle, the Brauker, that Hans Swamenberg will pay him $10 to trap the fox that's stealing our chickens. Well, if your father's so smart, why doesn't he trap the fox? There's plan to be done. Abe Zook is not doing that. Anyway, why would he want to help anyone who's been poaching from his traps? If you're saying any such things when the hand is well, you're going to be sorry. And if you're flying close to our barn, you'll fly no more. Well, saying that you're not an Auslander, I guess that makes you a bird brain, doesn't it? Your father said it, not me. with a dog like that. Ah, they are the forsaken ones. Outcasts. One is a dog, it is true. A, a female, I think. She was tame until the other put his mark on her. One night I saw him and he looked at me with the yellow eyes and uh, I know him for what he is. Werewolf. You are lucky he did not catch your scent. You call them werewolves. And you say you have to keep them off with the wolf's bane. But then you say you can run them down with dogs. Now, if they're really werewolves, how can you do that? Because an animal is a werewolf is not to say that he cannot be killed, but only that he is having powers within him that other animals are not having. Well, I am a broker because I have powers within me to heal, yet I can be killed. Or followed by dogs. So can you? Come on down, dry 
tarantula. Come get your meat. Good, Dracula. Good boy. Won't be long now until we go hunting. Uh, if you take him to the woods, or we stay close. If he misses his prey, he'll like to treat a rest. And if you're not calling him down, he will go hunting by himself. And if he eats his full, you won't coax him with meat. Well, to Swamenberg's woods I'm going now to see if the fox has yet come. Oh, I'll do that for you, Uncle Zuck. I wish I could make you understand that I just want to be friends. But I can't even get close to you. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe there is a way I get close to you. <laughs> Why, I could even pet you. I wonder if it just works when you're hurting or... I'm gonna go out now. You're colorblind, like a dog. You can't make me out over there until I move away from the tree. No wonder you get spooked sometimes. I've never seen any dogs like that around here. I've got to get back. Games you're playing. Dangerous games. I've been watching for the signs, Willem. You are following these creatures and they are following you. Well, she eats the food I give her. They're getting tamer. Yeah, I can see how tame. Well, today was different. They are protecting their range because she is soon to whelp. She will be hiding from you now in a den and she will fight to protect her young. Well, couldn't you put a spell on him or something so that he'd like me and I could tame one? You are uncommon queer in the head, boy. Thinking to make a pet of a werewolf? Rusty? <laughs> Got some venison for you. Go ahead, take it. And I've got some of Uncle Zook's herb broth. It'll make you feel better. And I've got some ointment here too, if you'd just let me get a little closer. Take it easy. There. Now I don't look so big and scary, do I? I'm sorry you're hurt. I just wish you'd let me help you. Good girl. Now, if you just let me get some salve on the wound. Okay. If that's the way you want it. 
Uncle Snook's wrong, Wolf. You know I want to be friends, don't you? Yeah, I guess you do. Or else you would have jumped me. Here you go. Where you'll find. Well, I didn't figure it'd be out here in the open if you'd uh, shot it out of season. S Sixty years I'm living off the land. Now coming young men to tell me when I should hunt. Look, if everybody was allowed to hunt whenever they wanted to, there wouldn't be any game left. Right, Billy? But I didn't come here just snooping. We've had some reports of stock killed. Calves, sheep, hamstrung and left to die. Yeah, we're having no such trouble here. What about this? Yeah. It's probably that wolf and dog that killed the sheep. No. A pack of dogs. Uh, they killed the sheep, too. <sighs> Son, you saw the wolf tracks over at uh, Ike Yoder's. That's where the hounds picked up the scent. They came the night after. Look, Mr. Stolzfus, I know their territory, and I know what they eat. Wild game, and that's not against the law. Well, since you know so much about them, maybe you could help me trap them. There is a reward out, you know. And I thought you were supposed to try and save the wild animals. Why don't you go and get the dogs? There's a husky and a doberman. Around here? Yeah, I am seeing dog tracks at the bodies of the doe and the buck. Well, I'll take your word for that, Sook. Huh? Um, Mr. Stolzfus? Yeah, Billy. Um, how come do dogs turn wild? Well... Sometimes city people buy dogs that are too big or too much for them. Then they take them out into the country and just turn them loose. That's a terrible thing to do. Yeah. The dogs can't fend for themselves, so they, they form packs to help feed the whole pack. But sometimes the killing's just senseless. It's out of anger at having been turned loose. And I end up having to kill them. You were seeing these wild dogs? How do you know of them? Wolf knew. He scented them and he remembered. The picture just jumped into his mind. It was like a kaleidoscope and... Black magic? I tell you, the spirit of Nelson Reimer, the evil blocker, is in that animal. He has put his mark on you and will take you away. It wasn't him. It was me. I just wanted to know how Wolf's mind works. Uh, it all goes out. You're making one with him. I am thinking to send you home to the city now. That's not my home. Mom doesn't even want me. It is not that she does not want you. She does not understand you. I understand you all too well. Now you want to be rid of me, too. And the ones that do like me, well, they all go away, like Dad and Wolf. Well, I don't care. I just don't care what happens to me anymore. I thought to send you away because I do care, Wilhelm. When I was a boy, I too had such feelings of you now, some are lost, but I am remembering them, so I am letting you stay on one condition. What's that? You must swear you will never go out of body again. I'll do whatever you say, Uncle Zook. 
Do not be thinking this is an old man's foolish talk. He have put a mark on you, Willem. Rusty's out of pumps by now. soon, Dracula. I gotta go find some friends. Oh, if I could fly like you, it'd be such a cinch. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe I could. Well, there's no danger around here. And even if there was, I could look down and see it. I want to fly like Dracula. I want to fly high up in the sky. There you are, you rascal. Hey, I found you. <laughs> ah, so that's your new dad. Well, I better get back. I promised Uncle Zook I wouldn't do this. I'll be seeing you guys. Crazy kid, those dogs could have torn you to pieces. Well, they would have killed Wolf.
hook. He was only trying to protect his territory so he can feed his family. They've got pups? Now, you're not going to hurt them, are you? Billy, you don't understand. You will. Now, listen. They'll grow up just like the wild dogs and kill stock. And the people who own that stock have rights, too. Look, if I don't get Wolf and Rusty, they'll have more litters. I'm sorry, son, but I... I am not your son. I'm not even your friend. What have you to the boy been doing, Stolzfus? Saving his life. Never did I think I would be glad for a game warden, but for this I have full much gratitude. He is going to try and kill Wolf, Rusty, and their pups, Uncle Zook. You can't let him do that. Put a hex on him, please. Uh, we will have another own hex, Willem. Get you loose. Just take it easy. Now stop that. Stop that. You'll just make it worse. I'll have it open in just a second. Just a second. No. Let go. Can't you see I'm trying to help you? Someone's coming. If it's Jimmy, he's going to shoot you. I'll never get you loose in time. There, you're free. Now get out of here. in the pain, Billy. Yoder's blue can pick up the trail, and he's right in the truck.
Now look, now kid. kid. You're a good kid at heart. And I don't want to come down hard on you. I'll give you one more chance, but don't press your luck. I've got a job to do, Billy, and I'm going to do it even if I have to take you into custody. Jim Stone's foos. Please don't kill them. I've got no choice, Billy. But one thing I can promise you, it isn't painful. But they aren't doing any harm. They'll die out here without it. And that is your fault. No, it's not. It's the fault of the people who abandoned her. You know, that dog that you let loose, she would have died out here if she hadn't taken up with the wolf. But Wolf and Rusty are not killing any farm animals. I am not a monster, Billy. I'm sorry. But when those wolf pups grow up, they'll form a pack, too. And then we'll really have problems. Ginseng for the health food store. I go with Wasser. Check the traps. Dracula. Fresh blood. 
The fox did come here to drink. I think we're closing in on the drag trap. A handsome price that pelt will bring. Sook thanks to outsmart us. But we were making a fool of him. <laughs> Dracula! Be keeping him away. <laughs> mean that mark ah, his shooting is as bad as his heart you mean he's gonna be okay first we fix up the wound then we fix up the hex are you gonna hex him you have somewhat to settle uh, to your liking, this hex will be. Means you must be making still another visit to your friend Wolf and his family. Yeah, you think I'm not knowing? A true wildcrafter sees the signs. Yeah, why do you think I give you the hat with the wolf's paint? Huh? Well, how come you want me to make another trip to the den? You know, in the barn and the meadow to step carefully over what the farmers are calling meadow muffins? Manure? Ah. First, you are bringing me some, only that of the werewolf himself. Then we are going to the Swamenbergs. like us, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I never know whether to believe you or not. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. But it is best to believe about some things. What is in the barn? There's nothing. I checked in there, Dad. This has never happened before. Grandpa, 
Paul said the veterinarian examined the Swallenberg's cows. Couldn't find anything wrong with them. Your uncle is hex putting on our cows. But today comes a greater Brocker from Bird in Hand to fix it. There's no greater Brocker than Uncle Zook. So maybe like John Stoltz Foos, he gets taken away by the police for black magic. And maybe Jim Stoltz Foos will take you away for poaching. Mr. Zook's made me and Grandpa and lots of people well again. Huh. <laughs> Things won't be well again for Mr. Zook when the Bird in Hand Brocker makes a curse upon him. Away with the cross, for no one in the pot. Here's the snake, though, that I am thinking he is a fake. Uh, yeah. All right, bring him on. Come on, yeah. bring him on. Yeah. All right, now. Ah, bring him in. Bring him in now. Better broker he is needing. To us, he will be coming soon. <laughs> Zook, by me great trouble comes. Oh, really? Some people are bringing trouble upon themselves. The shooting of the owl was wrong. Tell them, Mark. It was wrong. A catch we are finding in the woods from some poachers who were stealing from traps. When you're seeing this poacher again, in the mirror, maybe, teach him how to stretch a pelt. Half the value is gone. A hex there is on my cows, Zook. I'm paying well, if you're able to take it off. As well as the great Brocher from Bird in Hand? Better even. By you is a great foolishness. But uh, maybe a lesson is learned, so... Uh, bring me hair from the cow's tails and splinters from the barn, and uh, uh, we'll see. <laughs> and splinters. What'll that do? Fuddle their senses. Tonight we're sneaking back to remove the hex by rubbing time over the spot to take away the wild animal scent. So the cows are giving no more trouble. Unless, of course, the Swabenbergs do. <laughs> <laughs> Attention to Wolf anymore. 
They're not cute anymore, Billy. They're mean and cruel. I've got to tell Grandpa. All right, but be sure and tell him it was just those three and that Wolf tried to stop them. Sixteen sheep are dead. The Rot wasn't with him. He wouldn't do a thing like that. Yeah, even with the shovel, Yoda was afraid. Yeah, and he'll probably go and call Jim Stolzfus. But these animals were not hunting, Willem. They were killing for the love of killing.
it's okay. It's Thank it's God okay. you're all right. Yeah, well, if you were knowing your job, you would have killed them already, Stolfus. What about the traps you set by the swamp, huh? Maybe the wolf would not go in, but the dog you should have gotten. I did. But she got out. Huh. So, you're not setting the trap right? No. I let her loose. And I chased the dogs out of the den, and I kept Blue from following. That was a fool thing to do, boy. What happens today is your fault. If my Robin had been harmed... Now look, that's all over and done with. What we need to do now is set more traps and put out poison. Ah. I'll be trying again with the dogs first, Sook. You will never catch that wolf with just dogs. Well, you were thinking poison that kills too many things. I'll bring Blue. And Vasa? Vasa I keep with me. Uh, the wolf dogs will fight. Vasa is too old for such things. But uh, he will strike the line for the others to follow. All right. I'm willing to try one more. Maybe those guys up there saw something. I'll go ask them. Stay out of the brush! Get out of here, kid. There's a wild animal loose. Where'd he go? Come on, they're up here! Wasser! He's hurt. I'm gonna go get him. Let the warden do it, kid! I'm sorry. I'm the one who's sorry, Willem. Never should I have let you stay. I never should have sent you away. Oh, Billy. I want him to have the best of everything. Nurses around the clock, specialists. I want Uncle Zuck. That one. Makes all right with him. He got away? Until I'm a hex putting on him. You hexed Wolf? How? With a clock. A clock? Ticking. The werewolf could not be resting until he's finding out what is making that strange sound. And when he did, he was at last in the trap. <laughs> now I wonder how poor old Wolf's doing. Uh, your friend Mr. Bryant has done well by him, sending him west to the wildlife preserve. Yeah, he really is a great guy. I'm thinking you should be matchmaking. Would be nice for your mother to have a new life, too, no? Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Wolf has a new life now, but how will Rusty and the Runt get along without him? Oh, that wolf is teaching them well. There's no sign of them. Maybe when I come back, there might be some things that you could teach me too. 
Let's shake on that, Billy. I can keep here, but the wolf dog, I'm not knowing. Well, it uh, seems to me that Billy here ought to be able to shape up a good-looking dog like that. But Mom says an apartment's no place for a dog. So does the landlord. So we'll just have to find another place to live. <laughs> Wait for you in the car. Okay. So, next summer I'm seeing you and this one. Like Wasser Team will be. You know, it. It might help if you hexed him. Some animals are their own hex, Willem. Also, some small boys. Tomorrow, the critically acclaimed Backstairs at the White House continues with stories of the Harding administration scandals, tight-fisted Calvin Coolidge and Herbert Hoover's eccentric behavior. Tuesday, watch the TV premiere of the all-new suspense-filled Two-Minute Warning, starring Jack Klugman, John Cassavetes, and Charlton Heston. Stay tuned now for the final three-hour presentation of Centennial, the epic drama of America, next on NBC.